manicure day, I'm pretty fanatical about doing our dog's toenails. It's really important that you keep them short. It's a health problem actually if they get too long and they can grow into their pads, really cause issues. If you're out taking a walk or playing ball, frisbee, you can actually have toenails get caught and sprain or even break toes. And we play a lot of frisbee, a lot of ball, and I don't want any sprained toes off of something so preventable. So Timo's going to be our willing participant here. He grudgingly goes along with it. So when we start, we get a warm-up cookie. I like to Dremel versus cutting them, and I'll talk more about that later. And I just use a good old-fashioned Dremel tool, not the fancy dog pedicure tools. I've actually had a lot of friends give them away because they have a little cap on them and you can't see what you're doing. So you can get this off of Amazon or I don't know if Lowe's actually carries them anymore. But I'm going to take him. And this is a great technique for a small dog. Larger dogs, obviously, you're going to be on the ground with them. And you can see he's really comfortable. We do, he's done this, he's seven years old. We've done this every week for seven years now. So I'm just gonna hold his toe and then we're gonna start drumming. That should be good. Okay, and I put it on the low setting and you have to be careful and make sure that you only do a little bit because you can burn your dog if you go too long. So you can see I just keep working very gently his toes and then when I'm done it'll leave kind of a sharp edge so I just take it over the edge good boy Timo good boy and I'm gonna just work my way around all his feet exactly the same way so we're moving on to the second foot it really does not take us very long because I do do it every week so each dog probably takes about five minutes. It's nice to do this outside if you can because it does generate some dust. In the winter I'll sit on a garage step. Then once they survive the front toes they get a snack. I'm going to move on to the back toes. The back toes seem to take care of themselves a little bit better. I think because with them taking off and launching if, as they're playing and things. So typically the front toenails are just a little bit longer. You can see the dust on my hand. That's why I like to do it outside if I can. Good boy. Good boy. Almost there. All right, and then once they survive, all four, then they get an I Survive cookie. Good boy. So there's several different styles of toenail clippers that you can use. I personally love just a battery-operated Dremel with a sandpaper head. I find my dogs are a lot more relaxed with it. I think it's because it doesn't push down on the nail like some of the traditional nail cutters. This is probably one that you see quite a bit. You just pull on it and the dog's toe goes, toenail goes up in here and you quick snap it. And my dogs particularly seem to hate this one and they will fight me tooth and nail, pun intended, if I use this versus the Dremel, like you saw Timo, he literally is almost falling asleep in my arms. If you do use this kind, you do want to make sure that you have some styptic powder because inevitably you will accidentally hit the quick. That's where the blood starts for the toenail and they will bleed like you cut the whole toe off. So just a little bit of styptic powder on there will stop that bleeding. There's also another kind that's, I believe this is called a guillotine, but there's another that I think actually more of a guillotine that has two handles like this and the blade faces the other way. They usually have orange handles and you snip and it takes them. I do keep these in my emergency pet first aid in the car, however, because if we were out hiking and somebody happened to tear a toenail, you really wanna be able to snip that off. And then I also keep my styptic powder 
So again, if that toenail is torn, we can snip it off and then put the styptic powder on it. But whatever type of equipment that you decide to use, whether it's clippers or whether it's a Dremel tool, make sure that you're doing it minimum twice a month, preferably once a week, even though my own dogs would disagree with that. So now you're all set to do your regular pedicures with your own dog. But whatever, remember, keep it positive and keep it fun as possible with all those good cookies.